Hey guys, how are we doing? It's Martin Cliff here and um, with another update. It's February, in fact it is the 6th of February. Um, so this is, I guess I'm going to call it my February update. I don't know, I could call it my late night blues update. Um, main reason I'm shooting this is because this is, well, one of the videos I'm uploading tonight will be my 300th video, exactly which order the uploading, uh, we'll see. Um, obviously the last couple of days I, I've shot some um, just jamming videos a couple of days ago, um, which were kind of me jamming on some blues and a not so bluesy tune. Um, and I've got a really good response on vandalism for them, so I thought I would shoot a couple more this evening while I was while I was free, um, which is why I've got the guitar on a lot. And um, I want to not call these just jamming videos, they're going to be called Light Night Blues. And there's only three of them. So as I'm on 296, 297 videos, somewhere around there. So by the time I've got the three of those plus this uploaded, that'll be 300. Um, so yeah, thank you for everyone for coming along for the ride. Um, just wanted to let you know what I've been doing because obviously I haven't been shooting a lot of videos. Um, but I have been uh, doing plenty of music. Um, now I, I said in my last update that I've been working on a lot of the rhythm tracks for uh, my new album, my new instrumental album. Um, and I've put that not really on the back burner, but I've decided to just have a have a break from that. Just I want to a couple of things I wanted to just get done and out of the way that have been on my mind for a while, and also I just wanted to sort of clear my head of that, get in the right mindset for it. Um, and there's a lot of stuff going on at the moment. So um, what I've been doing instead, um, for those of you who don't know. Um, maybe you've only been following me in recent weeks or months, so certainly since I've been in Hong Kong, in which case, welcome. Um, I played in, sang in, led a band called uh, Voyager Project uh, for a long time. Uh, and we were kind of, we kind of drifted from genre to genre. We were basically a progressive rock band. Um, and we recorded two albums, um, Where Angels Fear to Tread, and we're not alone. Um, and they, yeah, we're they kind of we're very proud of what we did. Let's be honest. Where Angels First Tread was a hundred percent my work, um, and we're not alone was probably about ninety percent my work. Um, Rob played some acoustic guitar and a little bit of electric rhythm guitar on there and Dan played about 50% of the keyboards, but other than that it was all my work. Um, oh, and Tom played, um, we had Tom play some uh, drums on a couple of tracks as well. Um, but the, the, yeah, the rest of it was, was very much my work. So I've kind of, obviously I've got the, the multi-track stuff and I've kind of had it at the back of my mind. The one thing that's kind of let down both albums, particularly the the first one, uh, Wearing His First Tread, which was done um, four years ago now, is the production. Um, both albums, but certainly that one in particular. And the recording, the actual tracks um, were fine. It's just that at the time I didn't have decent studio monitors um, and I was, I don't know, I, do, I just hadn't, I was, I mean, obviously everyone is still learning when they're producing uh, and uh, engineering stuff and um, I wasn't as aware of what I was doing and what I was hearing and stuff as I am now. So what I've done is I've, I've gone back and I've started remixing the tracks from the two albums. Um, at the moment um, I am halfway through the first album, I've done the first five songs. Um, so what I'm hoping is over the next couple of weeks I'll get the rest of the songs from the, um, from the two albums done. Um, and then exactly what I do with them I'm not sure yet probably going to be a digital release called something like the Voyager Project Remasters or something along those lines. I don't know, I'm still thinking about it, um, so watch this space. Obviously when they come out I'll let you know. Um, but but yeah, it's, it's basically nothing is being re-recorded, it's all taking what was originally there and putting it through the better plugins I've got now and um, actually um, you know, listening to it on proper studio monitors and just getting much better results and, and the tracks I've done so far are sounding much much better I mean there are things I would like to go back and change of course so it's been something that's been at the back of my mind to, to redo them for some time and I've, 
basically now yeah, had the opportunity and decided to go back and do them and, and you know, make something, something a bit more of them because you know they were they're really good songs and I've kind of always felt they are unfinished um, and hopefully this now will draw a line on them and I can focus then on my writing and recording and new stuff a bit more. Um, so that's that. Um, other than that, as I say, I've been doing plenty of blues playing. I've been playing bass a lot. Um, and now I've played bass for many years. Um, and But I've just been getting more into it again. And I finally have a bass amp. And I'm going to be reviewing that and um, shooting some videos on that. But it's going to be another few weeks before I get to that. Uh, basically, in terms of my life as a whole, um, in the next couple of weeks, I'm involved in uh, a a play here at, the, at Harrow um, so until that's out of the way I can't really start a new project um, so I'm just going to finish off the remixing um, so maybe shoot the odd video I've got a couple of things that I want to do um, I know I still haven't done the one about building a quiet PC for music um, but I've now at least taken some photographs so I can at least use that as, as an example and that, that hopefully will be a reasonably short video um, and should be easy to put together, but um, yeah, that's that's coming, um, hopefully soon. Uh, but I'm not making any promises. I'm definitely going to have this done by then. I'm definitely going to have this done by the other, because um, everything's subject to change anyway. Um, just you know, keep watching my channel, and um, the new updates uh, and new videos will appear as and when they do. Um, a few videos ago, I talked about getting my 200 subscriber and. Um, sorting out some kind of competition or at least draw for someone. Now, uh, I haven't actually got as far as deciding yet what this person is going to win, um, but I have got everyone's names uh, uh, on a in a spreadsheet and I've got random numbers assigned to them, so I'll be able to pick a random number and say this person is getting whatever it is. Um, so, you know, don't think that I've forgotten about it, I haven't. I'm just trying to work out in my head exactly what I'm going to do. So, yeah. Okay, and until next time, guys, take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. What makes me tick? What makes me talk? What keeps me running around to what I am devoted? What makes me